Hey, what's happening? It's B-Side, and today, the Acoustic String Challenge. So I had some guitars that needed some new strings. I went shopping for some acoustic guitar strings, and I saw this Ernie Ball Tone Pack, which has three different types of Ernie Ball acoustic guitar strings. So I thought this would be a great opportunity for an acoustic guitar showdown. Three packs. I happen to have three guitars that have spruce tops and rosewood back and sides. 2D28 sitting right here. We have a Gibson J45 Custom, the Rosewood one, sitting on the wall. So I thought, let's uh, change some strings and see what they sound like. So before we jump into the sound test, it's worth talking about each of these types of strings. So there's three different types of strings in here. And yes, they're all acoustic, but they're made of different materials. So the first one is an 8020 bronze, and the 8020 is really going to be the most crisp, like the really just, the just brightest set of strings, or should be the brightest set of strings. The second one is a phosphor bronze. Now both of those are called earthwood. So I'm gonna put a picture of the pack um, when I'm playing each one of the guitars so you know which strings you're hearing. The darker bronze pack is the phosphor bronze ones. Now phosphor bronze are also referred to as studio bronze because they're not, they're not supposed to be as bright as 8020, but they're supposed to hold their kind of tone longer. So a lot of guys use those in the studio uh, because you're getting kind of a similar tone for a longer period of time. So the 8020s are going to be really bright at the beginning, but they do tend to die off sooner. Um, and then the phosphor bronze are gonna give you kind of a more mellow tone, but it's going to be, um, it's gonna kind of maintain its integrity over a longer period of time. And then we have the aluminum bronze. And so what Ernie Ball says is they are superior projection and clarity, enhanced low end, and improved corrosion uh, resistance. So you won't know about the corrosion resistance, but hopefully you can hear the projection and clarity and enhanced low end. I've never played the aluminum bronze, so this will be my first time. Basically, I've strung up all of these guitars, I've stretched the strings out, played them each for about five minutes, and now we're, you're going to hear exactly what it sounds. So these are seriously fresh strings on all three guitars. Let me know what you think in the comments below.
there you have it, the Acoustic String Showdown Ernie Ball Edition. Let me know what you think in the comments. Which pack did you like the best? I was actually surprised a little bit by the Phosphor Bronze. I didn't think, I, I used to play Phosphor Bronze, but I've been playing 80-20 for years. So I thought I would just really dislike the Phosphor Bronze, but I actually liked it a lot more than I thought I would, not enough to switch back to it. But the Aluminum Bronze really have my attention. So it'll be, uh, I may end up switching to those. But if you wanna check out uh, this Tone Pack, uh, link to it is in this description below. Like I said, let me know in the comments what you think. If you enjoyed hanging out today, would you consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting the little bell? We're always doing fun guitar stuff like this. I'm B-Side, and we'll see you next time.